Absolutely a crazy finish to a very long and crazy map, 16-14 to ATK. But now we go to the pick of ATK. I'm Boggs, joined by Laz and Jacob Halfman on our producer. Hello, hello. And we get into this one here. ATK on the T side, Game and Gladiators on CT, and a B hit on the cards. Only one to properly defend the site. That is Carson. He did not have the best of Infernos. He's going to need to step up here on this initial engagement, and he does pick up one. That is a good player to take down in Fady. Bomb is still going to get planted, but it's a man advantage. Emo team in towards market, though. Going to get boxed up and shipped out. No, he's still alive for now. The, dawn, the time is ticking. The bomb is going away, and the... There's no defuse kit for the Game and Gladiators. They need to get this done in under 30 seconds. That puts a huge importance on the time right now. Yeah, they just committed to the armor, and now all oh, the bodies are just hitting the floor. They're not able to find anything at all. Carson with his own double now. And there it is. It's done. It's dusted. And it's a Mirage Pistol coming back in favor. ATK now winning two out of the three pistol rounds. Not bad. But... All about the second round, ain't it, Boggs? Oh yeah, well, they lost to Glock's last map, so... <laughs> maybe Deagles and an MP9 can do a little bit of a better job. ATK, the Galils, the AK, ready for a force buy, though. Don't want to give anything- What the <laughs> holy moly, hold the phone! B-Wills is awake, he's ready for action, and MOTM, that's the AK that ATK had. That's now sitting on the floor of ramp. Game and Gladiators don't know it was an AK. They can think it's a MAC-10 for all they know. The B site is woefully underdefended again. Only Carson sitting here on B. Only well, through that window smoke too to make a bit of a bait. Carson now gets the spot. Oh, he's got to get out of here. But he's going to be able to find a kill. A little bit fast, a little bit furious, and he's able to find himself a double. Now he's sitting himself at four kills. You said he was a bit quiet. Looking like he's able to speak up now. There it is. Down to two players, 39 HP combined for the T's. Vistam should be able to find this plant, but George is coming in from Catwalk. They have to do something, but no Swisher now by himself. Desperation mode, but it will not work out, and it's going to be a second round going in favor for the Gladiators. How? Tell me well, how. ATK have won the first pistol round on both maps so far, and lost the second round. Although this time it's a lot more excusable. Deagles, MP9, than Glocks. Better than USPs, I guess. Yeah, I'll it's better that. than stock pistols. And I can even give a USP more credit than a Glock, usually. But still. ATK, you should not be letting that happen to him. And they kind of gave Carson the opportunities out towards B as well. Just letting him play around the smoke. No more flashes to really get themselves some more map control, some more sight control. And then MOTM2 going for the little bit of an ego peek out towards the stairs. Just gets punished for it. Jaspin flashed in and flashed himself. Still able to get the opening kill. A dry peek out ramp. No, flash came in from MOTM a little bit late. But Swisher with the second onto George. B wills and George both gone. The eight defense has been taken down. Bomb plant coming through. Looks like ATK want to continue the streak of going one for one for one. And trading rounds back and forth. Bowden jump peeking with the scout. Goes back to a more stable angle on the stairs. But Seneca and Jaspin can still pull this one back as Swisher and Fady are both one shot. MOTM is one dink with no armor. And again, Bowden, scout. But do Cynic and Jaspin even want to go for this? The answer looks to be no. Yeah, they're going to want to save this. There's way too much of an investment for this. You have armor, you have a kit, double rifles. Way too much money to sacrifice. Good call. And the thing we saw last night too, Boggs, is I mean, on this map on Gaming Gladiators played Strife, I mean, it was the CT sides. It was the CT side that was the weakest point for both those teams. I mean, we were talking an 11 4 half in favor of Strife on their T side. So that was four rounds that Gaming Gladiators were able to get on their CT, which is so unusual. We typically see them do well on their CT, but on a map like Mirage, that was the weak point. That was the Achilles heel. Yeah, the CT side was the weak point for the Gaming Gladiators, and for Strife, if we're honest. <laughs> Both teams did not know how to put up a defense. But maybe now, they'll have a little bit more to do. Bombs left in T-spawn, and there's a potential for aggression from the Gaming Gladiators, though. ATK to be very careful not to go too far forward. 
Slow and steady from ATK. Aware that gaming gladiators don't like to save, they like to go for aggressive plays and buys. One kit for Jaspim, there we go. We actually have a defuse kit this time. But into a late mid pressure, just flashing and missed him. Only player out towards middle, and A take a is going to be prepped. And only two players going in towards ramp. This could end in disaster for ATK if they're not able to clear out these two up close ramp. Ewells and George with it all to do. They can win the round here for the game in Gladiators. Palace players need to make noise. They're going to be loud. Distract these players. Oh, but I think Gaming Gladiators have the read now. There's alert coming in from Mistum in middle, but he's not able to do anything with it. He's got some information, I guess. The execute's coming in now. The smokes are being placed. Do they clear this corner? They will, but it's not going to matter because B-Wells has got the MP9. Fady, 13 bullets in the chamber. He's able to find two. Can he find himself this third? He's only got four bullets left. Goes for the reload. He's with Bowden. The smokes are blocking everything off, but Jazz is able to get this kill, but he takes critical damage. He's down to the red. It's just down to boat in 13 seconds. There's no hope. There's no way they're picking up this round. Save the AK. Go again, boys. And we get a repeat of how things started out on map one. ATK wins the first. Game and Gladiators win the second. ATK win the third. Game and Gladiators win the fourth. It's the exact same thing. Yeah. This is literally the exact same thing. Well... I guess the difference is uh, ATK will call this timeout and uh, very uh, good decision, Mr. Incredibly Mr. good decision. I don't know how this happens. I too rounds. do not know. And I too am very curious as to why it happens. But what I'm very happy about is this timeout from ATK. They realize it's the same thing they fell into early on on Inferno. They don't want to let this go away from them again. They want to make sure they're able to put this one down, put this one to bed, not allow the game and gladiators to win this little war of attrition early on. They also know the game and gladiators' money cannot be great. So they're going to buy up again, a couple of AKs, of El Galil, but George and B will double aggression in towards Palace. They're just trying to be a little mini death ball, these two. And it works out, gets the bomb at their feet. Doesn't matter that Mista might have gotten a kill elsewhere on the map. And now he's going to get traded out too. Oh, Cynic's been spotted by Fady. Fady could technically go up the ladder and in towards Palace. MOT just waiting back, pal. Is Cynic aware of this fact? Yeah, he is. He still loses the fight. But what can Fady really do from this position? Nothing at all. He's going to have a very hard time getting past this double stack of both George and B-Wills. Unless he goes around, they don't expect the flank. Surely somebody's going to watch that corner, though. Surely it's, yeah. It's just, they're watching what's not smoked off, for the most part. And Fady does not have much of a chance here to get this round. At least one more kill would be good for the economic damage, but could you say deja vu? Ooh, the shoulder's giving up. A bit more Carson's passive than what I thought. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Carson's got the big flank. This flash actually could give him a bit of room. Oh, there it is. Okay. To be honest, I was a little bit surprised. I thought Gaming Gladiators would have been posted up, just ready for the fight. A little bit more discipline. They wait things back. Now they get themselves the lead, and ATK are going to have to put themselves on a save. We'll probably see those pistols come in. They got the 2400 loss bonus now. Implemented. Smoke and an HE. Double HE, sorry. What do we see from them? Nectar pop? Meat grind around? This should be a yep. clean sweep. There you go. Good flash from George there out. Uh, Ian? Uh, uh. Okay. Was he doing the old everyone go die in the Molly strat? I think so. I think so too. I think that's what it was. Didn't want to get anybody shooting at him. He's like, yeah, let's do this. Don't want to give Cynic a free op. Yeah, no oh, thanks. Not like yeah, that would have a difference. He's still got one anyway. Yeah, he's still equipped. He's ready to go. Bowden doesn't have one though. That's a bit of a problem here for ATK. Bowden also off to another slow start. Had a very good finish, a very strong finish on map one. You wouldn't have figured he started the, one, the map 0 and 6, so 0 and 4 right now for him. He'll pick up the pace here pretty quickly. We can be assured of that. 
But it would be nice to see him have a bit of an earlier start. Would help out quite a bit for the ATK team overall. Who are playing this in a bit of an unusual 1-2-2. Two, two. Their B pressure has gone into underpass, two top middle. One palace, one ramp. But the bomb is left in T-con, in T-spawn. There's a lot of space gained, but they still can't really get anything off of it. Good little self-flash, but George, he'll win the duel, gets run into by MOTM. And I think George dodged just enough of the flash to be able to get that kill. The A site has been a bit abandoned, a bit of a retake setup now. Cynic, that's demolition from Fady. That's huge. And missed him, finishing off George. Now gives him the man advantage. That's some space opened. b -wolves will not be expected here. Surely missed him doesn't expect... What? Uh... I guess everyone's just ready for everything. Expect the unexpected. The predictors. A two-on-three situation. Now the player's gonna be able to get themselves into CT spawn. Ah, they might just have to concede defeat right now. Yeah, I think they will. We got the smoke and the flash, but I mean, time is just ticking too fast. They're letting it go. But that round, I mean, we see ATK, they just get those duels. I mean, missed them, the fact that he's able to find two duels with no trade. The gaming gladders didn't even react. They just let the players die. They didn't even attempt to go for a trade. They just watched the show. Front row seats. Yeah. And Bowden's gonna get a free op out of this if Jaspim. Oh, great cover by Swisher. Jaspim cannot get the op out of the hands of Bowden. Let's watch this again, though, from Cynic's POV. Like, what do you do against that? Oh. Such a ballsy play to go for if you're Fady. But. Filthy. Absolutely love disgusting. It. Gotta love it, though. Wide swing out from Mistum, who actually has the most frags for the ATK squad right now. Had a nice headshot last round onto B Wills up on Bricks. MOTM, they're looking for the first. It's Mistum, though, to open things up. Cynic goes out for a bit of a swing and he gets punished. This nade could do some damage, though. Nice little kill there from Jasmine, bringing it to a 4v4. But the bomb's going in towards B. What can Carson do from this angle? Spotted out by Swisher. Good awareness there, crouching forward. Pops up like a jack-in-the-box and smacks Carson back down. A ramp control going to be taken by B-Wills and Jasper this time as George is out towards middle. But this could be another save here from the Gaming Gladiators and it wouldn't be a bad call. 4v3 uh, uh, three hold. You don't have money. Save the guns here. Cut your losses. Let it get tied up. No op saved either for gaming gladiators. Things and this is what we talked about. Back and forth. Gaming gladiators get themselves a lead. Gets caught up to them. ATK going for a bit more simple executions and they're winning these. Well, bollocks, we gotta I mean we gotta just quickly while we got the moment, we gotta talk about Swisher. Remember back in the regular season? I mean, he was having some struggles. Like, I think his rating, what, what was it, like a 0 .91? Look at him now. Yeah. I think he's sitting he's at a... a if I remember correctly, Swisher is now currently sitting at a 1.08. Yeah. About a 0 .71 APR, which I can tell you for a fact it was a lot lower than that for a good month or so. Yeah, he didn't have the best of times, but... He's had a bit of a revival recovery on the CDK squad. They're really using him well, and this is a team where he can really fit in well, too, as a player who will do whatever it takes to get a team to win. He'll lay down on the wire and let the boys crawl over him, but he's getting set up in places, too. This team has a lot of give and take. It's not just one man taking the whole time. There's not one distinct star player on this ATK roster, and that's what makes it so dangerous. Every single player on this roster, Mistum included, can step up and have a huge round. And they're all willing to be the guy to take the hit so the abreast can make a play. Doesn't matter if it's a yard sale of gear as long as the puck goes in the back of the net here for the ATK boys. And it's a big thing to build as a team to have that kind of mentality. Helps out a lot. We saw that a lot on Inferno with their utility setups. Everyone was chucking in flashes for everybody else to get those kills. And in this five on five, it's a bit of a split. MOTM though can dodge that flash and gain some ground. 
George able to dash behind the smoke, though. That'll help him quite a bit. The bomb's still heading in towards B. But time is going to become a factor here. Feeny doesn't check the balcony. Gets caught off Carson. Runs out of ammo, but the bomb is at his feet and two kills to his name. Tries to cross out. The flames forcing his issue. But he's not going to be able to get out of there alive. Only one return from Bowden, though, who's backing up. Does not want to give the op over to Cynic. Might just chuck it out of the map. Might save it. Either way, even Gladiators are going to retain a lead. It's a good thing for them to do. Let's watch this again. Yeah, Fady just doesn't clear far enough for Carson to show. Little bit too complacent there. Win. Yeah, we talked a lot about Carson too. I mean, he was having a quiet game in the first map. Not the same performance. I mean, even though he's got seven kills, I mean, this last round he picks up the double. That just, again, decapitated ATK's plan. They weren't able to do anything with that. As soon as those players yep. were dead, that was it. It was over. Bowden got a little bit of a boost. Are they going to go for something fast here? He apps play by, perhaps. Oh, yeah, he's going for it. He's going for the hard peak. Maybe not. Wait, is he in front of the flames? I think he is. He misses the shot, though. That's a huge shot he needed to hit. But he's going to finish up the second one. He's got it on the second try. The second time of asking. Fady now with an opener onto Beewills, who aggressed through ramp. ATK. Taking a page out of the Game and Gladiators book a little bit. Going for these aggressive plays. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, just these simple executions and just going a little bit quicker. Yes, and you shall receive. And now look at them. Waiting it out. Bomb's actually all the way back in T-spawn, making its way towards A now. So they're going to have a little bit of fake, potentially, but Bone's got that off, so I can't imagine he's going to be committed to throwing the fake. Not with what he has. Now they're going to regroup here, Boggs. They're going to go for the A-pop. Maybe just be a simple A-execute. The late halls play. And nobody from Game and Gladiators is here watching the site proper. The two A-sided players are over in Con. George is over towards B, looking towards an empty apartments. Now they're gonna go back to site, but it could be a little bit too late. Now it's swarming with T's. Swisher goes over the stairs. Nice trade there by Fady. Bomb when he had planted, and Fady spotted out Jasmine Pill, spray him down through triple box. Nade could finish him off, though. No, it doesn't. Bowden's got the cover. And now Bowden's starting to come alive too. Two kills in the round. That's exactly what ATK need is their opper starting to chime in with some big moments, getting some kills like the entry onto Carson. And tied up at five apiece, ATK have a chance to be able to grow out of this half as the money for Game and Gladiators is in half by territory. They shouldn't be going for a full invest here. A couple of pistols going to be purchased up, maybe a little bit of utility. One smoke, two digs, that's it. This has to be a clean round for ATK or else... A saved gun for a game and glad he just gives him so much more to work with in the next round. Just like that, Mistim goes aggressive in middle. On towards Cat, finds that opening duel. Now it's going to wait things out. Monom's able to find a 1-2. Left hook. The jab. There we go. Just down to two pistols remaining. Good showing that we're seeing from the Gladiators, all things considered. Like I said, this was a weak CT side that we saw yesterday, but they've already got more rounds than they did earlier. So it's uh, progress, right? It is progress, but we can't assume ATK is going to roll over and die on their CT side. That's the other thing. Last night could be a bit of uh, an indicator for Game and Gladiators on their C and TC CT sides, but can we expect ATK to just completely concede? Not at all. In fact, ATK have a very staunch defense here. 68% win rate on their Mirage CT sides. So. Oh, hot dang. That's, Don't mess around, man. Yeah, that's that's a little bit good. That's, that's almost as good as their map win rate on this <laughs> map. Just it to put much it into is. perspective. They haven't lost. The last uh, three times they played this, they've had dominant victories. Not even double digits going against them. They win the opening duel. So things back. Reconfigure the plan. Bomb's going to get picked up now. 80 now on towards Catwalk. Gaining a lot of ground. 
as it's in the back here of a ladder. Could be able to find something. He's by himself. No trade. Oh no! Oh no, look at this timing now! He's just what? getting bombarded. He's able to find a kill somehow. He's like Batman. Zip line and everywhere. He's able to find a kill somehow, some way. Oh, now this one way. Oh, that's oh. just so gross. That's nasty. There it is. I want to watch the ladder play again, though. Just up and down. This. Hello. Goodbye. Rachel. Perfect stuff there from Jasper. That's a great movement to get a kill out of that situation. And it was just a little bit of a miscom, a little bit of a mistiming on that flash play the ladder, too. That cost ATK. You can see that cost them the round. Nice little run boosts, though. They're going to go for a fast ramp play. Molotov will stall that out. MOTM will not aggress, but there's a flash. There's getting very close by, and George will be spotted through the Molotov flames. And MOTM through the flames is going to drop B Wills. Two quick headshots for Ian trying to be the MOTM in this map and give themselves a spot in the upper bracket final. Not too sure how the pain game is going right now. It's pain EG in the other upper bracket semi. And the winners of these two meet each other in the upper final. Oh my gosh, this is such an over-rotation from Game and Gladiators. They're... I'm not sure, sure what the read was there either. Just the lack of a push? Is this just them gamble stack? I think this has to be a gamble stack. And this could be it. It is. I mean, it's five players alive here from ATK. Look at Swisher now, a bit of a distraction. Oh, there you go. It's, it's a free site. Their money's too low. They can't go for it. They got they got to save these. The rounds are too close to the end of the first half. I don't know what the calm was though. Did Swisher really bait them into this? I don't think Swisher even made noise. I that's what I was thinking too. I was like, from what I saw, I'm like, I don't think he did anything. No, I think it was. Hey, they haven't done anything on A for a bit. They probably went B. We only got three guys. Let's gamble this. Could have been great. Could have been uh, magnificent, but... Could have been a big league play. Bit of a blunder, though. That's the problem with a gamble. If it doesn't work... It doesn't always go your way. It doesn't look good. Yeah. <laughs> can look either real good or uh, real bad. Yep. Seven oh. rounds on the T side for ATK. They'll be happy with that. Their T side statistically isn't the strongest on this map. Only 43%. So they'll like a 7 round. If they can get 9-6, I think ATK would be almost on pace for a 2-0 in this one. MOTM, so much map control over mid. They're just sending MOTM up very aggressively. Jasper, though, with a bit of a flash assist, will get one onto Mistum. Fady trades it back. Trades have been opening up a lot more space for ATK to operate, though. That's a problem for the game and Gladiators. They've failed to really invade that space. It's something we saw Strive do really well in the last series, was invade the little bits of space that were given to them. Game and Gladiators haven't been able to suffocate, but George with a backstab onto MOTM. Not aware the cat push could come through. It's the man advantage back. Swisher in towards apartments cannot win that duel against Carson. And a 7-7 looking very likely, but the money for ATK means it can still probably full buy into the next round, bomb plan or not. Still, of course, they want to get the most rounds they possibly can. And Bowden has to 1v4 this one. It's looking like we're going to go tied into the last round of the half. 8-7 will be the scoreline one way or the other. Unless Bowden has a miracle play, they're not even really going to peek into him too much. They know they don't need to. Don't want to make a repeat of the Guardian Ace on Overpass. Yeah, no, not at all. Because if they lose more guns, you're going to have a bad time. Carson. Real bad time. Oh, timing. Odin's already scoped in, so he won't make that noise cue. He's got the read. There it is. Oh, great kill. I'm a little excited. I just got nervous, you know. <laughs> you don't want to lose that off, man. Holy grail. I still can't believe he unboxed this op, too. Of course he did. Yep. I have the worst luck. Yeah, I've never even unboxed a knife or gloves. No, me neither. Or even a red, I don't think. Feels bad. Me too. 
Hey, couldn't unbox around this one. Seven rounds from Gaming Gladiators. A lot better than what we saw yesterday, but like you said, I mean, this is ATK's statistically worst side. Oh yeah, by far. So, uh, take that with a grain of salt, I guess. Or several. Or several. Maybe a bag of it. I don't know. Oh, and they're just... Are they going to blitz this? They're going to blitz B. I love this call. I love it. They've been oh, really weak on the B side defense, leaving it all down to Carson. And while he has had some moments, it's hard to overcome with the rifles and utility. He can't even get one. Good Bye -bye. flash support from the op of Bowden. The bomb's going to go down here. MO team already ticking in towards bench. Utility going to get exchanged. And Bowden actually caught off on a flank. George all the way through apartments. A fast rotation from Game and Gladiators. Not going to be as easy of a round for ATK as they might have expected. Missed him in towards Van. George delivers another headshot. Rings another bell. And now with Jazz Pimp eliminating Swisher, it's all down to MOTM and Fady. Fady's a good one, though. And he's good for at least one. Repositioning around the arches. Swings out wide. Has to do enough. He cannot. And Game and Gladiators are going to grab an eighth here. Going to half number two. See you after the break. Love it, you wear it. What's your style? Get your merch at shop.esogaming.com. We gon' make it push through too core, cool. they can take us. Break rules, you know we don't want they afraid of, afraid of, afraid of, afraid of, afraid of, afraid of. Ain't no stopping us, we do the impossible.
Gaming Gladiators with a half lead going on to the T side, where last night they performed incredibly well, winning 11 of 4 of uh, 15 against Strife and completing the comeback to take it to overtime. They eventually lost this map, but they have to win this one. If they lose it, they are done and dusted out into the lower bracket, not out of the playoffs here on ECL Season 41. I'm Boggs, he's Laz, Jacob Happen, our producer, as Gaming Gladiators are kind of creeping up towards the A side. Fady gets caught out, missed him, struggling with the back headshot, but he can connect on the next. Next two as he destroys a couple more players. Bowden's coming. The cavalry has arrived, and Mistum will grab the fourth and final. Nice work there from the in-game leader of ATK. All headshots all the time. And while he might have struggled on the first one, did not on the next. Laz, what has been the kryptonite to ATK and their pistol round victories? They just don't win them. They don't win they don't second win. rounds. They don't win, you know, they don't win pistols. Sometimes, and then they don't win seconds, so... Yeah. You're right. You're right, Bugs. Well, we'll see what happens, and, uh... Why does spent? Cynic force? Why is Cynic, like, the only guy forcing on his team half of the time? I don't know. Jaspim's yeah. with him this time, but it's like... Half of the time, you'll just see everyone at Gaming Gladiators at, like, 2k, and then Cynic at zero. Why not? And there's a nice little jiggle. Like to see you fold. Wiggle, wiggle. Oh, show. Uh-oh. You know. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, wait. Well, hang on a moment. Hang on a moment. There, okay, there we go. Race is averted. I think. Not hang on. No, oh, my. Oh, bullets. What's ammunition? All right, there we go. Second round is won. ATK have done it. Let's pack our eggs and let's go home. <laughs> All right. They did it. They did it. They did it. All right. They finally accomplished their goal of winning the second round. Almost lost it. They didn't. Game Almost. of Gladiators, though, gonna buy up here. Jazz Pimp, who forced last round, will be back on a deagle. Cynic, who forced last round, will be on a MAC-10. Three AKs, though, for the rest of the squad. His ATK have full rifles. M4's on four. The FAMAS on a Mistum. And Carson gets tagged a little bit. Molotov into Sniper's Nest. A little bit smoked, actually, enough. Aggressive cat peek from Bowden will not yield any positive results. Swisher might have got spotted by Cynic, not too sure about that, who does take a bit of damage from the con player. OTM just spraying away. Flashbang going high. Swisher has a big gap there and towards wind, mid window, but he's not going to exploit it just yet. MOTM getting chunked down, though. Fady wins a big duel, bringing it to a 4v4. And look at the health. George on 32, Carson 21, Cynic 38. They're hemorrhaging right now. They still have manpower, and they're going to bust in towards B? This... This is risky. And that's exactly why. Yeah, now they're going to go up. Go on towards Cat. They're going to fall back. And Monum just holding on top of the ticket. Oh, nice little jump. Just get some more info. The HP's low. This is not oh, good. Yeah. The bomb has uh, been removed. Beating and push up towards connector. Should be able to find the skill if he keeps putting the pressure on. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. There it is. Never mind. There we go. A tenth round is secured for ATK. Moment of suspense. You just never know. You just never know what can happen. I thought Carson might have had something. Almost had something, but he wasn't able to connect it. It's going to be a half by now from the Game and Gladiators as ATK start to pull away from the gravity well of the Game and Gladiators, starting to edge towards that 16th round and advance into the upper bracket final. Most likely a date with Pain. They won the first map against EG 16 5 and had a 10 5 lead going to CT Nuke. That one, I'd say, it's looking likely over there. With the pain squad, Brazilians. The lone Brazilian team that's still left in the playoffs, actually. So. Don't do it, Box. Please don't. Oh, wait. Ooh, Deagle out. Sheriff's in town. Owen's got that op with the one. Back to a four and four. Smoke's going to be placed. On one top of stairs. The flash comes in. He might be aggressive, but he's not able to find that kill. Sacrificial lamb, maybe. 
an advantage though for the Game of Gladiators, and now it's even stronger as Fady gets demolished by a drive-by Tech-9. Bowden's doing damage, Swisher actually picks up the kill and stops the bomb plant! That is critical. It gives a lot more time to ATK to work, but look at George's position. Nobody's going to expect him in towards window, unless they've heard it to have the sound cue. Looks like Swisher actually does know that George is in towards window. Molotov will confirm his position. Bowden has to know, but the bomb has not been planted. This is becoming a bit difficult for the game in Gladiator. Swisher drops down. He's made noise, but will he go back? It looks like he will. Bowden's going to creep up too, but he's all alone now in a 1v3. Misses that first shot. Needs to connect it. Drops the bomb plan again. Goes forward, but George hits the headshot. And nine goes on the board now for the game in Gladiators. It wasn't the best of buys for him, but it comes out with a good result. Bowden close, but no cigar. That's a second tag through the triple box as well. Stopped the first planner by doing the damage that Swisher needed to just get an easy mop up. And then stopping it outright. Timeout called. This is Game and Gladiators calling the timeout. I'm, I'm liking this call. Settle things down a little bit. Talk things over. And figure out what you want Cynic to do with the op, because he did get one donated. So... He can do something a little special, perhaps. His spawn does seem to lean a little bit more towards A, but it's not a very good A spawn either. Overall. And it's not a good bid spawn. So it kind of got the short end of the stick in terms of op spawns. But maybe they'll run boost him. Something cheeky. Yeah, I'd be down. Go, Go for some down style for points. Boost. Ugh. All about the style, baby. Oh, yeah. Got a style on him. Game this close. Maybe tilt them a little bit. Maybe not. Maybe so. Ooh, he did get... Guys actually got pretty close in the middle. No, he will fall back. So he's going to put that off in towards B Hall. A little bit of a split we see from the Gaming Gladiators at 3-2. But it's going to be mid-control, but Modem actually does damage to his teammate Swisher. No! Oh, there we go. A little bit of a reply back. But no, Fady gets a bit more aggressive. It's an open sight. Just like that. And it's done. ATK, again, they might want to save this M4 unless Bowden can do something big. They actually can make it into the site, so this is interesting. Gaming Gladiators waiting things out. Yeah, and Mistum picked up a rifle out mid, too. They're waiting for the rotation to come back in, though, and George will basically seal the deal. Mistum should probably just save this one. Save the hot rod. And it's back. We're going to go 10-10 here. Nothing really separating these two teams on the scoreboard. It's been very close and back and forth. Much like last night's affair between Game and Gladiators and Strife. But ATK, I think, had the right idea this round. Just didn't have the right execution. And that's what it ended up costing them. Modem being blinded, killing Swisher from behind. Just ended up as a recipe for disaster. And... Game and Gladiators take full advantage of it. I like how George waits for the rotation, too. Knowing that... Being given the room, one of the ATK players is likely to go for that kind of a push. It's good awareness there from George. And... Now ATK will probably just gonna play around that rifle. That's it. Okay, Mistum has the deagle, so we'll toss the rifle over to Bowden, who will buy a vest with it. And Mistum will hold on to his dig. Still, this is something that they could technically build a roundabout. Timeout called. Game and Gladiators again calling this timeout. V using their timeouts. This one kind of helps ATK more, I'd say, because ATK now get a free timeout to figure out something a little unorthodox to potentially pick up a round with. Definitely agree with you, Boggs. I mean, a moment now for ATK to kind of get themselves a little bit more of a game plan. Given what they got. Odin. Gonna have to crack a couple eggs with this, this M4 now. A bit more pressure. Back to its high game, and first two rounds go for ATK. Next rounds go for Gaming Gladiators, so same thing we saw before. Just two and two. In the uh, initial start of the half. Ooh, Bowden gets aggressive on Cat, and now they know the M4 is there. Got but the noise cue. They don't know if there's more in play. That's it's true. Oh, they're trying to re-aggress this in middle, too. 
Bombs all the way back in T spawn. They haven't even decided at all what they want to do with it. They're just feeling it out. Lots of map control though. Full ache, sight control. No contestion really from ATK at all. And I don't think I'll count Fady's USP going in either. They know George is stuck in chair. And Swisher's going to try and flush him out. Gets caught up by Jaspim. Bowden will at the very least get one. Out in water, Jaspim could have gotten the timing, but Carson's endured Sniper's Nest now, waiting for this peek from Bowden, who's just looking for a head. OTM takes a lot of damage. Fady mowed down by B-Wills. Bowden making noise, looking to just chip away a little bit more. Jaspim back towards mid-boxes. Headshot delivered. MOTM lost alive, and Jazz will grab himself the hat trick in the round. Solid anti-eco from Game and Gladiators. And 11 to 10 now. That's one thing the Game and Gladiators do relatively well is play against the anti-ecos. Technical pause coming through here. An issue with one of the Game and Gladiators, perhaps. A team speak issue or something along those lines. That is potentially why they were calling timeouts the last couple of rounds. Either way. They got a couple of rounds off the back of their timeout, so... Who knows? Ah, lag spike for B-Wills. Won't be too long here, hopefully, so we'll get back into the action here pretty quickly. But ATK, how do they recover now? Bowden still cannot get the op. And without the op, ATK seem a little nerfed on their CT side here, Laz. Yeah, not the same ATK that we've seen before. They tried the mid-aggression, didn't work, got squashed. They haven't really tried... That's kind of been the more, like, aggressive round we've seen them on the CT side. They're giving a lot of map control for gaming gladiators, which does surprise me, to be honest. I wasn't expecting that. We'll have to see if they're going to try to contest a little bit more often. Odin close on by. Well, could be. Yeah, there it is. It's going to be missing by themselves in A. Bit more of a lean towards middle. There you go. Bowen's going to go for the boost. Oh, and look at Swisher. He made it underneath. Just kidding. He's on catwalk. Bowden gets a little bit of chip damage onto B-Wills, but nothing really overextending from the game in Gladiators. They don't want to give up anything for free. Double mollies in. One towards Khan and one towards Window, giving a little more space and time. Grady just going for jump peaks. A flash in, but no real response. Slow and steady here from both sides, neither one wanting to give an inch. As they shouldn't. I mean, this is pretty much make or break time for, at the very least for the game in Gladiator, since they can't afford to lose this one. And for ATK, they don't want to lose their map pick. Go into Ancient, which the game in Gladiators aren't terrible on. Yeah, ATK like the map, 5-1. and one. But Jasper and George just put a pin in that for now. Just explode into the B site. It's a save call already from ATK. White flag being waved. 12-10 now to the favor of the game in Gladiators. Their T side following suit with yesterday's strong performance. ATK, no responses yet again. And this is becoming a very, very worrying proposition. They need to stop the bleeding fast. They need to stop it now. Or we will see Ancient. We will see Map 3. And it will be sooner rather than later. Yeah, like I said, too, the last time these two teams played each other it was for the Cash Cup in the beginning of the month. And it was an 8 2 half. Finishing things out, of course, for ATK on the CT side. So Gaming Gladiators, they've done their homework, man. They have started to get themselves in a good contention for this T side. Making it difficult for ATK to find any room. They are not comfortable right now, and they're getting spread thin. They're getting spread like butter scraped over too much bread, man. It's... It's getting to do or die time, and ATK are going to call a timeout here. It's well timed. Yeah, they need to much call needed. Here. They need to call this one. Completely agree with you. There's just no way they need to figure things out. Well, they're able to shuffle rifles around, and Odin will just go for an M4 with only a f smoke grenade. Bit light on the util, but it should still work out in theory if everything goes right for ATK. Granted, things haven't exactly gone right for them this half. 
They've only, they have got three rounds out of it, sure, but the pistol did have to help with that a lot. Jaspim going to get spurred on towards the A site. Smoke down to the middle of Cypher missed him to close the gap a little bit. Molly into Firebox will clear out that angle. Jaspim could get mowed down, though. Tim drops into Sandwich and makes a meal out of one. Does a lot of damage on George, but he cannot get the next. Bowden over on bench has an eyeball. A team kill, actually, for Cynic on George, and he gets killed right afterwards. There's a bit of luck going the way of ATK now, too. B-Will's not able to get the kill onto Bowden jumping towards stairs. Going back and forth, dancing with death, potentially with the spam towards Palace. And Swisher going around towards T-Spawn to cut off any rotation back to B. ATK off the back of the timeout are looking to have themselves around. The op is also recoverable. T-Ramp for ATK, which would be huge for Bowden to pick up, either in this round or subsequent ones. A execute coming in with the smoke. That's all they have left. It's a little pitiful. But they have to make it work. No nades, no mollies for ATK in the time. But actually worked out for the Game and Gladiators with a couple of kills, especially as Mystic is very low. Bowden's here though, they know it's gonna be A. Carson has to plant. He wills. That's a huge kill. Bowden gone. Removed. Swisher making his way back. Ten seconds on the clock. Bomb going to be planted here. Late spam comes through. Gets the kill. But that's money for Game of Gladiators. And another one for B-Wills. This is winnable. This is very winnable. He's got the next! But he does not have Beatty. ATK stay alive. They salvage this one. But that should have been a lot cleaner. That's messy here at the ATK camp. It's just not looking like what we saw in the first one. Look at this round. I mean, it, this is just B Wells. It shot only DM. Almost able to get the triple. Just barely losing it. An ATK. Survival kit will work for now. One round to get back to a tie game. Odin does have the AWP ready to go. He's going to place on the back. He rotates all the way through CT. Cynic trying to find a spam. Won't be able to. Might have awakened now ATK, maybe. A bit more aggression we see through middle. Mm hmm. Look at how passive gladiators are, though. Yeah, Bowden has a lot of control out towards apartments, too. At a good angle. And he's oh. going to pick up Carson. That's a big start. Missed him, able to dash away, too. Drops the molly to cover his own retreat. And he tucks in towards under. Could even go up into Palace, and that's exactly what he's going to do. George is going to creep forward through middle. But the problem is. They're already down a player, and Emo Team's expecting somebody out here. He's still gonna lose that fight. George gets two? You got a Wolbane kill on a Swisher through that player of MOTM. Fady comes in, and B-Wills falls to Bowden. That's the op prowess of Bowden coming through for ATK. But Cynic and Jasper can still pull this one back. A wide swing from Bowden outside triple. He's gonna get spammed. Somehow still alive. Mollied out of position, and burned to death, but missed him up in Palace. He's trying to be the king. He does enough. Fady comes in. 12 all up recovered for Bowden. The money is still more than enough for Game and Gladiators. Plenty of bank to work with. But how many timeouts do Game and Gladiators even have left? I feel like they've used at least three out of this half, not counting the tech. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was thinking that too. I think they have, but. Oh boy. Well. Dollar Dollars and now Cynic. Oh, Carson gets aggressive, but he still doesn't find that kill. Oh, but a nice trade comes in from Jazz. But now MOTM going through middle by himself. Bullets are running out, but it's not going to matter. Plenty to get himself a double. All of a sudden, it's down to two, making it just down to one. A beautiful shot comes in for Fady. He's looking for a little bit more, too. Oh, and man, he just gets the dink as well. And Cynic's down to 19. Oh. Oh, he's having a bad time. He's having a rough time. And ATK get themselves back in a leading position. Back in the lead at a critical juncture. Getting to 13 first is big for ATK. This is a huge individual effort by MOTM. Just pushing through the smoke. Good flash assist from Mistim as well. But Game and Gladiators now to the bottom of their banks. Galil for George. Utility is sparse. Jaspin, but nothing at all on his belt. Cynic, one solitary flashbang. Bowden does not have the op, though. That is something to keep an eye on. A lack of the big green for Bowden, but Fady's going to go aggressive into apartments. But he's going to get finished off well by Cynic, who's expecting it. I think it was Gaming Gladiators who got burned by a chair player last night. 
and they will not get burned a second time. They will get roasted a little bit, but Swisher only able to get one. B-Wolves watching the flank and ATK debating whether or not they even want to go for this retake, and it looks like they want to concede. They're giving it up, and given the manpower, the disadvantage is definitely heavy. They don't want to take this one. They want to keep their guns, and actually, Fady can get an op for Bowden. He'll have enough to get an op, vest in an op, I believe. My math is right. If it's wrong, well... Poor Bowden, but... <laughs> still. Yep. Well, that's why we don't do math on stream, you know? It's just, you know... You might be right. It's gotta be. It's more or less dependent on what the loss bonus is for ATK. If it's 1400, they don't have it. Terrorists win. Oh. They don't have what? it. That's unfortunate. Just shy of the offer, Bowden. ATK gonna call a timeout here, talk things over. Slaz, there's not a lot of room to wiggle around here now. It's not a lot of margin for error. Lose a couple of rounds here, it's over. You go into map three if you're ATK. Same could be said for the Gladiators. They lose a couple of rounds. They're down to the lowers. Wait, Swisher's glass cannoning? Yeah, there was money. Oh, man. Oh, they're feeling it, Box. Big risk. It's a huge risk. It's a bold mood, Cotton. Let's see how it pounds out for him. Oh, yeah. I mean, will you expect Swisher on the op if you're at Game and Gladiators? Not at all. So it could work. It very well could work. A fast take, though, and there's nobody here aside from Mistum. It's the right counter for the Game and Gladiators. Gifted with the call off the back of the timeout. Smoke's coming in. Rotation's coming through. Swisher's the last one standing over towards B. MOTM blinded. Retreats back into connector. Fady tries to go through. Forced away. Mistum's still on sight, though. The flash will not blind him either. Counter utility being thrown. They're not really gaining a lot of space here, Gaming Gladiators, and they're burning a lot of time. They've allowed the full rotations to come through. B-Will's lucky to get out of that alive. Mistum's still behind triple boxes, and Fady's still standing tall for one. Traded back by Emotim, but Mistum falls. Bowden over top of Ticket is able to punch one more down. Swisher's glass cannon connects, and now it's George in a 1v1. 50 HP, the nade will do nothing to soften him up further for Bowden Master, who retreats back towards jungle, completely throwing off the information that George might have had. And is Bowden going to go all the way through Cab? I think he is, actually. He's going the long way around, and George is just sitting in Firebox. Yeah, he thinks that Bowden's going to actually creep through CT. Mm -hmm. You can see that little bit of an off angle. Not even an off angle. He's just checking Pixel just to see him creeping through. Oh, man, he's got lots of time that he can work with, but George is just narrow-visioned. He's thinking one thing, CT. Look at Bowden. He swings this. He might be able to get this kill. George is actually looking for the connector, or sorry, the jungle. Oh, but he turns his back. They're both big braining themselves. And there it is. The plant's going to come in. Odin's going to know. Oh, no, he still thinks. So. Oh, there we. Oh, no. Pinky in the brain. <laughs> you know what we're going to do today, Pinky? Time to rule the world. Take over the world. Oh, no. George is playing this so well. He's got the advantage so heavily. Bowden looking the wrong direction. Looks back! <gasps> Somehow still alive. Gifted an opportunity. George hits the headshot, though. And Game and Gladiators go up now. 14 to 13. They claw it back. And it's George Heroics once again for the Game and Gladiators. He had a moment back on Inferno, but it wasn't enough to give them the map. But this one... Almost resets ATK entirely. Time out called. And it's ATK. Narrowest of margins. The pressure was on. And Bowden. So close. And yet so far from pulling it off. MOTM with an MP9. What else will ATK buy? We'll see. But if they could buy a round, they would. All they need is three, and they're in the upper bracket final. Game and Gladiators.
battling it tooth and nail for every inch of ground they have. And ATK going in this with only the MP9 of MOTM? Okay, there's a 5-7. I'm gonna fight for overtime. Not a bit of utility at all. It, I think it's the right call to play for OT here if you're ATK. <gasps> oh my, if this oh, would they make so much noise? Oh, would they made so much noise? Oh no. Oh, it's a graveyard. And there it is. It's over. Amy Gladiators. On the brink of putting themselves on map point. Push to a third. Now you just see Mistem running. All the way from CC spawn, a little late to the party. He's just looking for his endpoint now. Maybe get a kill. He will not. There we go. That's 15th round being secured. It's all down to this now. Like you said, Boggs, 5100 available for Bowden. And what TM will have that op in his hand? Off to the Swede. Oh, he's gonna need to come alive. He needs a big play here. He needs a huge play, a momentum swing. ATK need two rounds. Well, we're off to Ancient. And for those wondering, it is new Ancient. It is the current Ancient at the current patch. It's not old Ancient. I'd like to see it, but ATK don't. George is blind, but he still has missed him dead to rights. Swisher with a bit of a pixel gap, going back and forth, trying to dodge the plethora of flashbangs just flying in on towards him. Spray from Fady, not connecting onto anything either. Swisher back towards the angle. The bomb is not crossed again. It's one of these delayed A control takes from Game and Gladiators where they kind of just death ball in, in a sense, when they're all ready to go. Aggression towards stairs, punished well, but Carson finishes off MOTM. Swisher, he's out of the lair alive. He got another kill. Brings it to a 3v3. Bowden goes over top, but he could get sent down the river. Sticks. Fady has an angle. He's got the bomb dropped, but not the second on to B Wills. He needed that kill. But Bowden spots the backside of Jazz Pimp, leaving it all down to B Wills. Swisher finishes 15 14. Overtime, one round away for ATK. Game and Gladiators just shy of the mark, just off the bullseye. But they have enough money to shuffle guns around. They can buy up strongly here again. But Cynic will not have an op and a timeout is called. Is this the Game and Gladiators last and final timeout? It is their fourth and final timeout used here. What does Semphis have to say? <laughs> you got me. You got me, Vox. The emotions are just boiling over for both teams. What a brawl of a round. Just a fight all on Tetris. Trying to get the right pieces in. And here we are. Even Gladiators. One point to put themselves into Ancient. ETK. A single point or a single round to push overtime. Bring back some sour memories for the game in Gladiators if it goes to OT, that's for sure. Yesterday's OT defeat still fresh in their minds. Lots of mid control here though. Three players plus the bomb. Now towards top middle. Odin with a bit of a gap, but he did not see anybody cross. George could go to his doom, though that would be a bomb spotted. No flash being prepped either. It's all going to come down to the timing if Bowden's on the right angle or not, or if he falls away entirely back towards the A site, which seems to be the case. Bowden retreating. Is he going to be? He is. But Fady has so much apps control. Fady has all the apps control. Is he leaving it up to Bowden to watch apps? And rotating in towards middle? Or even to the A site to bolster the oh, defenses? He's, oh, he's going to soul anchor B. I like this call a lot. I like this call so much here. The op gives so much more information than a rifle. And the rifle is a lot more useful in the initial hold. Swisher with the mid cat control as well. It's going to be a mid A split. Fady in a bit of a rough spot, but he can get a lineup here. Sprays away wildly. Unable to connect any kills. He goes down for free. Missed him. Has to do it all from firebox. He has to do it all alone. Bowden with a big kill. Swisher dropping down in the middle. Trying to help out. But they've left the site. The bomb goes down. And George gets caught for free. Missed him with a double. He finishes off. 
Fadey's mess. B Wills in Palace. Carson towards ramp. B Wills creeping forward, looking in towards under. Has to find Fadey. Has to find an answer. And he does not! Swisher helps out. And all down to one lone Carson. The rotation around to Cat. And in towards Connector. No utility to wall it off for ATK. Carson with one, but not the second. Bowden will finish. And we're going to go to OT here, folks. We're going to cut to that break real quick. And when we return, we'll see if we're going to map three or if this one's done in two. You love it, you wear it. What's your style? Get your merch at shop.esogaming.com. Overtime again for the Game and Gladiators on Mirage. Last night they fell 19-16 to Strife. This time it's ATK, their opponent. 
And Game and Gladiators cannot afford to lose this one. Swisher jumps around. Fady's actually purchased a secondary op for ATK. So they're running a double op for the first time that we've seen throughout this series. And the problem with that, Les, it's not MR3 16k anymore. It's MR3 12.5. The double op can be very costly unless you win and keep them alive. And Cynic, he's got one of his own. He's boosted up. Swisher's made noise and George and Carson can catch him off. Now he knows there's players underpass utility in, but Swisher regresses, tries to fall away. He can't. But Bowden picked up Jasper in the meantime. 4v3 in the favor of ATK. They've given themselves a leg to stand on, but missed him. Around the smoke is a critical duel. He wins it. He doesn't. That's a lot of space towards A now for gaming gladiators to exploit. Oh, look at Fady. Oh man, he gets wide. He's able to hit it. And now it's right back to a three on two. The advantage comes in favor for here for ATK. The T's are so spread apart from each other. Carson, look where he is. He's just underneath window. Bomb all the way through Palace. Carson. Eradicated. And now it's just down to a one on three situation. The IGL. 30 seconds remaining with an all. A bit of utility to work with. Gonna have to find something. And oh boy, he just misses it barely. And now he's trying to keep on pressing forward, but it's gonna be Bowden Master. Gets himself a double. Good work there from Bowden and Fady. And overall from ATK. Doing some good, good work right there. Exactly what they need to do. Clean round, minimize casualties, keep the double ops, and get the round on the board. If ATK can sweep here, even get two on their CT side, they should be good. It's first to 19, folks. Just in case you were wondering. Fast out of ramp, those George and... He's just gonna dart back away. Bit of a wise decision there, does not need to overextend, get caught out. Fady's opping aggressively in apartments, and he's actually been mollied forward. He's full Cortez mode right now, he's burned his ships. And he's stuck on the angle. Bowden doesn't connect the shot, it's flashed off after the fact. And might retreat in towards Sniper's B-Wills. There's a little bit of a tango with Mistum who will just retreat, but Swisher up on Catwalk lines him up. One, two, three with the M4A1. Beautiful. Still showing the power of that gun. And he puts ATK on a fast track to victory here, going up over top. But George has returned the favor, rings two bells. Looking for the third, tossing your hats, and we're at an even 2v2, but the bomb is on Cat. It should be under the watchful eye of ATK. They're not. It's a, I'm not sure why they're not directly holding it, especially given the fact, oh, they only have one op right now. That could explain it. Yeah, they grouped up in middle. Oh, the noise is in. Missed him. Oh, he's able to get out of that. And there you go. Mono's able to help him out. A helping hand. He wills by himself. He's able to get this kill, though. Oh, goodness. He won't be able to find that second, though. So ATK now putting themselves at a 17-15. Like you said, the scoreline is to get them to 19. To win the overtime. Beautifully done. A great execution comes in from Swisher. We talked a lot about him. The struggles he's had all season, bringing things back in the later portion of the season, now going into playoffs. He may be 23-23, but look at that impact. The stakes are high. Pressure's cooking. Oh, Ooh. man, that's really cooking, and oh, man, he goes down. I thought he had just enough time. He stopped to throw the smoke, and that's what killed him. Oh. That... Could be a big factor here. Swisher over on B has a friend in Modem. It's a split 2 2 defense here from ATK, giving up the mid control. Fady takes a shot just right over the shoulder of Carson. A bit of a shot across the bow. And B seems to be the end here for the game in Gladiators, but MOTM and Swisher trying to hold MOTM the demolish. Swisher up on balcony. Still alive, but Fady's falling. His teammates are collapsing around him. And the bomb is making its way in. It's not gonna be stopped! And Game and Gladiators are all but secured here with a 16th on the board. Cannot be a clean sweep unless Mistum 1v4s this. He gets a second free kill! B-Wills with a nade in the open! And Mistum 
charging forward. Bit of a crossfire though between Carson and Jazz Pimp. Both just going to hold the line. It's planted wide in the open. Market and apartments have a good angle on it. Missed him. Has to take the fights. He does have a kid. He does have a smoke and a Molotov. The Molly could save him. But is he going to go to the right angle first? He's going to go up into his doom! 17-16. Man. He gave himself a chance. Gaming Gladiators gave him a chance. But ATK are going to have to win two here on T's side to be able to seal the deal. You can do it. But it... Man. This is where Gaming Gladiators struggled a little bit. You know, what we saw in this one, though, is that it was a lot closer the first half. Yesterday, with a different story. Today, looking a lot better. Some fine-tuning that's happened over the day. Two more rounds, and ATK get themselves a 2-0. This is a tight game, though, Boggs. Full five of the money, like you said, not 16k, for people wondering. Gotta be a lot more cautious about what the setups you want to go for. Just to keep the one op, we saw the double ops in the last round. See what ATK have in store for us. What they need to get themselves moving. Oh, they're looking aggressive. They're already up on a ramp. Molotov will stomp them for now. Double players from Gaming Gladiators. The executes coming in. Cynic misses the shot. Not able to find it. Now they're just going to swarm. They're going to go right for this. They're not even going to mess around. But Fady's able to find that first kill. Oh, boy. Now the CT's grouping up. They're getting ready for this retake. That's a good Molotov to in the jungle. It's going to force Cynic into a bit of an awkward open duel. But through the smoke will go George. He's going to stop the plant. Fady will trade. But that buys time for the Gaming Gladiators to come through. MOTM taken down by Cynic, who's got the sidearm out and somehow still alive. Missed him with one more. But Carson and Cynic, two quick kills. All down to Bowden now with a buck ten on the clock. Things have gone from good to bad and maybe even to terrible for ATK. Bowden creeping around, op in hand. Not the gun you necessarily want for a 1v2. And he has to isolate these fights. He cannot take them one by one. He gets the first. Well, the noise cue. not know where the last is lurking. It's Cynic's op, op, v, op for the round. And for Game and Gladiators, it's to stave off series point for ATK. It's to keep their lead and avoid having to win out. Cynic. Get the timing. He spotted, but he wins the fight. Bowden looks the wrong way. And we go all even at 17 apiece. Nothing separating these two teams, Laz. Fighting tooth and nail. Odin not able to clutch like we've seen him do before. Back to a tie game we go, folks. Jazz throwing the deep molly and now missed him. Up close and personal, able to find this big kill. Takes down the op. Eradicated and removed now from the server. From this round. Flash comes in. George trying to make something back. Trying to redeem. Getting a little bit of revenge. Not able to find anything. Overwhelmed by grenades. All the utility in the world by ATK is just being burned. And look at Modem. He's already pushed up into connector. I don't think they even would have heard him with that molly. Uh uh. They have an idea somebody could be there, but they don't have any surety. And Swisher's here as well. He's in the smoke. It's going to fade on Cat though. Jazz Pimp. He's playing with fire. Swisher back and forth. It's going to come down to timing. Do they clear out Jazz Pimp? Well, yes. No, they don't. Mistum doesn't clear the full angle. And Jazz Pimp will capitalize 4v4. George around the smoke. He loves these kind of fights. He's going to bro mow down both. Both Swisher and MOTM. Fady and Bowden with it all to do. Spots the leg with the one. But he cannot spray transfer that far away on a Jazz Pimp on Cat. Bowden with the bomb. Going for a wide open plan here. Off in hand. Getting harassed. Getting sprayed down. A little bit lower. Spotted and finished map point again for the gaming gladiators here a clean sweep on ct said would see them as the victors of this map and ancient as our third and final of the series atk will buy up again somebody will drop an op for Bowden and atk calling a timeout as they cannot afford to lose this round or else they have to play through ancient with the new changes man alive les Game and Gladiators do not go quietly into the night at all. I mean, just so much shock, so much awe, like with just the improvement we've seen in the Gladiators, ATK, a map that they statistically are better on. Mm-hmm. 
not able to get themselves across this finish line. And now Gaming Gladiators putting themselves at map point, like you said, to push this thing to Ancient, which will be the new version of the map. Exciting to see, but ATK. Another shot on this. See what they can do. Push themselves a little bit further in this overtime. Now it's going to be a split. Everything just spread apart here from ATK. Three player stack happening towards the A site from the CT side. Have given up middle. This is full control for ATK. It is full control. But mid control can very often lead to a false sense of security. And we saw Gaming Gladiators and ATK fall victim to that in the regulation of this map. They still have to recover the bomb and make a play with it. A site will be their destination. With switch on 13, it's not pretty. No, it's not. And I mean, the connector players have to make the play. Look at how close they are. I think that's both George and B Wells. Yep. These connector players don't do anything or don't make the space. This could be it. This could just destroy it. Oh, the Molly comes in. They know they're here. They only know there's one, though, at least. A good little bit of damage inflicted, but nothing major. B players haven't rotated yet. We saw three players to go against. No, and there's going to be missed them. There's the trade. Mata misses that opportunity. Oh, the one way. Oh, but Fady's able to find that. And Cynic right back. It's just a trade on trade. Oh, the trigger discipline. Oh, this trigger discipline can be everything. Oh, it's one, two, making it three. And that's going to be that. It's going to be Gaming Gladiators pushing it to the distance. We go to a map three. We're going to see you after the.